Well, basically it consists of silicate minerals, very much the same things we see on rocks on the Earth's surface. But the way the silicate minerals appear, quite different to anything we see in terrestrially. Little rounded blobs of silicate with rather interesting textures to them, things you can only see in the microscope. I wouldn't be surprised if bacteria could not exist on the carbonaceous compounds in these meteorites. Professor Lovering from Melbourne University's geology department has divided the last eight months or so between studying samples of moon rock that he brought back from the United States and the Murchison meteorite. The microelementary analysis service at the university have helped the professor prove many of the speculations he made about the value of the meteorite when he first saw it on this day tonight, last September. With geologists from America, France and Japan clamouring for a chance to submit this meteorite to batteries of tests, just how rare is it? Well, they are very rare. Of all the meteorites that are known, they constitute less than 1%. So that's a very small proportion makes it a very rare type of meteorite. They are of extreme importance to us people who are interested in the evolution of the Earth and of the solar system, because it would seem likely that these materials, these particular types of carbonaceous chondrites, are the most primitive uh, materials we have from which the solar system has evolved. They are the fundamental building blocks of the Earth and of the solar system as a whole. Well, does it upset you that this meteorite is in fact being used for, you know, as a souvenir rather than um, for its scientific value? Well, it certainly worries me because these uh, meteorites, as I said, they are rare and they're important. And the work that we do on them today won't be the final answer. There's a lot more work to be done in the future as techniques improve and new, and new things arise. And the worry is that we will just run out of this material. It doesn't come all that often. And it is just not right, I think, to squander the material that we have. But this meteorite has another value. Several families in the Murchison district have made quite a business out of collecting and selling it, either by searching through neighbouring paddocks where it fell or by buying it from unsuspecting locals and selling it to rock shops and geologists. Although the meteorite will soon crumble into dust if left exposed, Murchison has suddenly become a town of amateur rock hunters. An estimated 250 pounds of the meteorite have been collected. Manna from heaven for those who are keen enough to look for it, but not for those who are lazy, as Mrs Gillick, wife of the local postmaster, found out. It's had, um, oh, how would you put it, had a great effect on our family. We really saw them in the summertime. They were too busy looking for moon rock, or so-called moon rock. And uh, they had me walking for miles upon miles and driving them out and bringing them in and uh, packing their lunches and giving them cold drinks day in, day out. And it's just been very hectic and all very exciting. How much meteorite did you find? Well, I would say about, oh... 60 pounds, 66 pounds. And what have you done with it? Well, <laughs> we have exchanged a lot for different stones and minerals and meteorites. We have uh, donated a lot to the Melbourne University and Sydney Museum and we have also sold a lot to American institutions. How much have you received from selling it? Well, I really wouldn't like to say. We have got quite a bit and uh, it's mostly the boys, and it's going to educate the children. There's a reluctance in the district to talk about how much they've found and how much they've sold it for. Um, why the secrecy? Well, I really couldn't answer that, but um, I think taxation has got a lot to do with it. Everyone fears the tax man. Murchison may well have found an answer to the economic plight of Australia's farmers, but it seems that not only the cost of living, but the cost of learning is skyrocketing. Excuse me. Uh, I wondered if you had any of the Murchison meteorite for sale. Yes, I do. Could I have a look at it, please? Yeah. Well, how much is it? Up to ten dollars an ounce. And at $10 an ounce, it's exactly a third of the official price of gold. 